Let's have a very quick demonstration of Nano, the text editor. Uh, Nano is not by default installed on our server, so we need to install it first. And it's quite a simple, there's no dependencies, so we'll go down and uh, download that uh, Nano package from the server and then install. And then we can use this text editor. So it's a very basic text editor. Uh, since it's not already installed, what could you use as an alternative? Vi or Vim is usually installed in a very basic form. Another more advanced, and, and it's significantly more advanced than Nano. Uh, Emacs is an, another alternative. Uh, but let's just go through Nano. It's quite a simple text editor where you can write uh, we can edit as in if you use Windows, say Notepad. Right, so a couple of the options. Uh, down the bottom is the menu. Okay, remember we have no mouse, so the menu uh, is, or at least it's key menu items are listed down the bottom, where the hat character, uh, which in my keyboard is Shift Six, is, is this character represents the control key. So Control G gets help. Control G gets help, and then you can read through and you the hat or the char character and you can read through and see all the different options, not just listed in the menu, but many other features that Nano provides. And to get out of the help, control X, so we're down the bottom, exit, control X, and we're back to our text editor mode. Just a, a couple of options to copy and paste, or to cut and paste really, control K to cut, Cuts the entire line, controlled U to uncut, and we can keep essentially pasting, and that's per line. Okay? There are some other options, but that's a, a quick way to copy and paste or cut and paste. Control K, Control U. To move your cursor to the end of the line, Control E to the end of the line, and back to the start, Control A. Of course, we can move up and down with our uh, keypad, but Control E to the end, Control A to the, the start of the line. And Control E, Control A are also available in other software, including Bash on the terminal when you enter your commands. Right, we want to save a file, so we actually write it to disk. So Control O in the menu writes the disk, writes the file to disk. So Control O will save. It will ask you the file name to write. That is, what name do we want to give the file? Example.txt. Uh, and I just press enter and it wrote six lines so it saves six lines to disk and if I want to exit control X because it's saved it's not going to prompt me it's uh, immediately exits we can open that file again we can pass in the file name as a parameter and Nano will open up that file and add another line and if we X exit without saving, Control X, it asks us, do you want to save the modified buffer, meaning that the file has been modified since the last time you saved it. If you say yes, we'll save it. If no, then you'll lose those changes. So we'll say Y for yes. And now it asks you, well, what do you want to name the file? And we don't want to change the name, we want to overwrite. So I simply press enter, because it's already example.txt, and now we exit. So that's a, a quick way to exit, is just to control X and it will prompt you if you need saving the file. Have a look at the different options with Nano, and in particular, the, the, all the different commands available which are explained in the help of, of Nano.